So he know your heart. He know you're lying. <laughs> Think about it. When we say God knows our heart as an excuse, we're calling God unjust. Okay, see, I got to go to a sidewalk. Let me, let me see how you call God unjust. God punishing wicked people is God being just. So to say he won't punish me in my wickedness, even though I'm being unjust, I'm saying God ain't just. That's why people are going to hell, because God is just. You know why? Because he has wrath. That's going to be revealed. And that's showing how just God is for punishing wickedness. So to stand around and say, oh, he knows my heart, and, and I think I'm going to be all right. And now you saying God ain't just. Keep reading. Restore such a one in the spirit of me. You, 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 you see what the church's job is? If you're overtaken in the fall, what's our job? Restore, restore such a one. That's our job. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Why does someone need to be restored if they already are? Restore such a one. But watch this now. In the spirit of meekness. That spirit of that now. Meekness don't mean weakness. Meekness don't mean, well, I got to go to, what, what, you know, that ain't talking about volume and tone. That's talking about your attitude towards the person. Anybody can go to somebody and say, you know what, you fouled out. You're wrong, Brother Bell. You know, you know you're wrong, Brother You know, and then, you know, just all down. That's right. See, that's wrong. That's wrong. The spirit of meekness is you go to the person, and then first of all, the person ought to have godly sorrow, and you say, look, brother, sis. And I'm not saying this, this is exactly what you've got to say, but the person ought to be able to say, you know what you did. We can pray for you, and we want to restore you. What you want to do? That's all. That's the spirit of meekness. But I see, the person who's spiritual got to have something on the ball. You say, what do you mean by they got to have something on the ball? Because everybody ain't spiritual. Amen. Everybody ain't the one that can restore you. You know why? Some people only want to be in on the restoration process to see where your weakness is. Yeah, right. yeah. Keep reading. Yeah. You got to have something on the ball. What does he say? Restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. Yeah. Considering thyself. If, if you can't consider yourself, don't even go. Mm-hmm. Consider yourself. Now you say, well, well, can you give me something more on that? Sure. If I know that there's a brother or sister who got a drinking problem, and I got the same problem, why am I going trying to restore them and I'm still drinking? That means you can't consider yourself. If there's a brother or sister got a problem with fornication, see, and, and people ain't going to own up to that. If I say it right now, how many fornicators in here? Anybody going to bother this? Not, nobody's going to volunteer. you, are you? Is anybody going to volunteer? Are you a drunkard? Who's going to volunteer? Nobody. But the thing is, you ought to have enough concern in your heart to know you in the same sin to say, you know what, I ain't been delivered from this, so I don't need to be in on this meeting, you know, uh, restoring this brother. I don't want to need restoration, but ain't nobody going to do that. In a lot of cases, because we know somebody else is in the same sin we're in, that's, in our mind, that keeps folk off of us. See, as long as I can point to Brother Spencer and say he's a drunkard, I can keep sipping. As soon as somebody bring it up, I say, there's the man. I mean, can we get the weight off my side? Instead of just saying, you know what? Instead of just saying, you know what? I'm, I'm frail just like the next brother. And even if the brothers ask you, you ought to be honest, or sisters, you ought to be honest enough to say, you know what? With this person, I can't be involved because, you know what? I'm, I'm in the same boat. How many people you know have said that? Mm. I'm in the same boat slide. You know, it's not that I don't want to help them, but I need somebody to help me. Mm. See, that don't rule out it because your ass. That don't rule out you being helped because that may be an opportunity of God throwing the light on you for you to say, the genius up. You can know at this time y'all wasn't looking at me, you know. I'm just still see maybe you can restore both of us. Mm. Mm. And then I tell you, once we begin to look at it from the perspective of restoration, then you don't look at the other brother or sister in Christ, oh, brother Reggie should be better than me, or this person's family thing. Then you don't look at it that way because you have a restoring mindset because we're brothers. You say, you know what, we all need restoration. Keep reading, Brother Bill. 
Restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. Restore in the spirit of meekness. Considering thyself, yeah. Lest thou also be tempted. You got to watch yourself. There might be a temptation out there for you. To try to restore the person you don't consider yourself. You call the person later and say, Oh, you got a drinking problem? Uh, you want to go out with me? Then brothers don't know what they say. You got to be careful. People call you up later and say, what they say to you, you ain't got to listen to that. They them people out there, they are cold anyway. That happens too sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Folks get frustrated and mad and, you know, they leave. And then all of a sudden, as long as they were here, mm -hmm. we were the Church of Christ. As soon as they leave, oh, they are cold. Mm -hmm. Where does this stuff come from? Mm -hmm. Go back to Rome. Give me five more minutes. Everybody all right? Amen. Rome, you got to pretend. So, so, so it's relationship, brother. My is my is responsibility. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Bill. Bill. First one, brethren. Yeah. My heart's desire. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Heart. I don't have to stop here. Mm -hmm. This is more. But my heart. That's the root. The heart, or or the, the mind. That's where it all begins. Does it? That's where it all begins. The root. Sort of, sort of. Uh, Proverbs four twenty three, and then Luke six forty five, and then I'm, I'm gonna close. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Yeah. Keep thy heart. You know that the word keep means guard. guard. You know, we got to guard our mind. Look at sometimes. Have you ever watched a TV program and then after you watched it, the scene played out in your mind? Amen. And before you knew it, Somebody was on the floor being intimate all because you didn't guard your heart. See how quiet it is? Them DVDs are getting every time. Huh? <laughs> See, we so busy saying, he telling me not to watch TV. I'm telling you, guard your heart. <laughs> right? These are some music. You got to guard your heart. You be in your car and they say, uh, we going to throwback Wednesday. You tune right in. As soon as it come on, and now you in your car booking. Why? You didn't guard your heart. There could be things that come up at the job. People get in the corner. I got the new edition of, of uh, 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 Penthouse. And, uh, uh, what, what's the one that Romo's girlfriend name? <laughs> Y'all brothers know you just said <laughs> But anyway, this is what I'm saying. Then, because you didn't guard your heart, you run it over there to see what they're looking at, just x-ray the pictures. Amen. Then you got, we got to guard, guard our heart. Amen. He's, what did he say, Brother Bill? Keep thy heart with all diligence. Listen, listen. Don't just keep it. Keep it with all Everything you got, you got to guard. Sometimes you got to turn, take the blood out the table. You got to take that table blood out that TV. That's how you got that's guarding it with all the dealers, but we leave it in. All we do is change the channel and just see something different. The same thing, but somebody different doing it. No. Huh? No, yes, we do. So, so it's better seeing Mel Gibson. And, and another somebody do something. We want to see Denzel or somebody do it. Same difference. Sometimes you, it, it, it would behoove us not to be looking out the window when stuff happens. That's right. Then get out the window. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? Next thing you know, that thing playing off in your mind. Guard your heart. With all diligence. With all, I, I know I, I hear from y'all, but I don't hear somebody say, well, uh, Dang, are you telling me oh, well, the only thing I can do is read the Bible? That ain't the only thing we're doing. Amen. That's the problem. Amen. Keep reading. Keep thy heart with all diligence. Keep it with a guard. Guard it. You can't let somebody say something about your brother or sister in Christ because your guard was down, and now you don't like it because of what somebody else said. That happened in the church too, though. Then somebody comes, I don't like uh, Brother Josh. Your guard is down. And then you start looking and say, I don't like the way he looks. <laughs>